welcome back, Midnight Strikers, to the next episode of Versus. This is indeed the finale for Season 2, as I take a little bit of a breather, take a step back, to basically focus on my schoolwork as well as other series of videos that I do on YouTube and Daily Motion. So basically, to get started, this is a fan voted versus. This was a fan voted versus that you guys voted for in one of my update videos. And this is going to have to do with a band formed in 1987, only known as Alice in Chains, with their two vocalists that we're comparing today Lane Staley, the original vocalist from 1987 to 1996 in 2002 when he ultimately committed suicide tragically, and William Duvall who took his place in 2005. Now, I say took his place in quotes because they underutilized the crap out of him. Now, if you've watched my review of The Devil Put Dinosaurs Here, you'll know that one of my only gripes with that album was the fact that they hired on a lead vocalist, William Duvall, and they never freaking utilize him. I mean, at least in Black Is Way to Blue, although all of the vocals are done by Jerry Cantrell, there was one song, one song, that actually featured uh, William Duvall on vocals, and that was Last of My Kind. All the other ones, he was more in the backing vocal category, especially in the lead single for that album, A Looking in View. So, basically, when it comes down to it, it's all about vocal harmonies, how different voices sound together to form just a melody, a harmony, per se. So that was pretty much what it was all about all throughout Alice in Chains' career. So yeah, I mean, I get it. Um, Jerry Cantrell's vocals sound really good with William Duvall's. But then again, if you look back into the days of Faceless and, or Facelift, excuse me, <laughs> Faceless is Godsmack, Faceless and Dirt, you'll see that Lane Staley was pretty much Front and center, the lead vocalist. He was the charisma of the band. He was the heart and soul, and Jerry Cantrell was the brains. Now we've got all the technical side, the great guitarists, the atmospheric production, and such, but it's it's really lacking something. I can't really put my finger on it. Alice in Chains, while it's really good, and while Black Gives Way to Blue would rival Dirt as my favorite Alice in Chains album, it just it seems like it's missing something, and that's especially prevalent on The Devil Put Dinosaurs here. But in terms of sheer raw technique and talent, I would again have to give the nod to Lane Staley over Duvall, because while William Duvall is a formidable vocalist on his own, and does have a really decent vocal range, his type of singing just doesn't fit with Alice in Chains' earlier material, especially stuff off of the likes of Facelift and Dirt, their most two most prized albums in their discography. Now, like I said, he does have a decent vocal range. It does com er, complement... Jerry Cantrell's lower baritone style vocals, much like Cantrell sounds like Staley, I would I would have loved to see a duet between William Duvall and Staley back in the day. I know that's off topic, but you know, that would have sounded phenomenal, especially since Staley has vocals much like Jerry Cantrell's, which is the band's saving grace at this point. Now, in the future, I wish that w um, William Duvall was utilized a little bit more than what he is now, especially all things considered. He's got a decent vocal range. All they would have to do is up-tune the guitars to maybe standard E or something. I don't know. Something a little bit higher. Maybe that would kind of compromise the band's sound a little bit, but it would sound fucking cool. Maybe actually put it in as a bonus track or something on an album. Make it sound a little bit different. I don't know. They could utilize this guy in more ways than what they're doing, and it's a shame because they're just sitting on him, basically, and they're just not doing anything with him. I don't know why he's called the lead vocalist. I mean, I don't know if this thing should really be called uh, Lane Staley versus Jerry Cantrell or what, but, you know, like I said, in my mind, I would probably have to go with Lane Staley just because he's been with the band for so long, and it's what I'm used to hearing. He's on the most albums when it comes to Alice in Chains' discography. Although, I do really have a soft spot for Black Gives Way to Blue. That might even be my favorite Alice in Chains album of all time. So, with that being said, Lane Staley, what is your choice? What is your opinion? Because I really want to know, and put it in the comments section so as to generate maybe a little bit of discussion. So, let me know. This is Midnight Strike 3625 and I will see you in my next Versus season. Keep calm and rock on.